All right, Chief, thank you. Tonight we share the story of a 75 year old survivor of the virus who's still experiencing the long term impact of that disease. She says she was diagnosed last year and got vaccinated in February. Nija Hood introduces us to Eleanor Collins. I did the best I could do to keep on surviving because I'm no spring chicken. I'm an old chicken. <laughs> Eleanor Collins was diagnosed with COVID-19 early last year and self-quarantined for several weeks. She's still feeling its impact. It knocked me for a loop, like somebody hitting you with a two by four. Like it was really a wake up call to how dangerous things can be that you cannot see. Colin says she's still experiencing coughing, fatigue, and her sense of taste hasn't been the same. I couldn't believe that I lost my sense of taste for lobster and shrimp, which I loved all. I loved lobster and shrimp, but I didn't. It, it tasted like rubber afterwards, you know. She lives alone and found emotional and physical support through her dog, Wendy, who gave her the motivation to go outside and get fresh air. I exercised my lungs by walking her, by forcing myself to even walk those short distances. Her granddaughter, Sarah, and great-granddaughter, Adriana, were also infected with the virus. Adriana experienced it the worst. I have a great-granddaughter. It had she was born premature and had 16 head surgeries and she was in the hospital with COVID. She has survived. Collins was vaccinated in February and received a booster shot in August. She said after being vaccinated, she started feeling improvement. I noticed I felt stronger. And that was, and, and I was so tired of being so weak all the time. I noticed that I felt stronger and I was able to do more things. She hopes others will follow her lead. I am praying that you respect the lives of others and get your vaccine and take care of yourself too and your family. In Columbia, Nigel Hood, News 19, WLTX. Well, multiple studies are taking uh, place around the country right here in South Carolina now to determine the long-term effects of the virus. Doctors say right now it's too soon to know how long people may experience changes in their body. Meanwhile, the...